on the Senate race, who you voted for and why? Joe Carr. Really? Yes. Why them? Uh, a bit more conservative in his viewpoints. Alexander has been viewed as perhaps not as uh, a volunteer, but a resident of D.C. and kind of a ruling elite. What about in the congressional race, the Tracy Desjardins? Desjardins. Why? Why him? Um, because of the way he's voted. Yeah, conservative. The he's conservative got a track record so far yeah. of voting conservative. And I was surprised to see that. I mean, I didn't know. Despite all the campaign back and forth, he has maintained a, a conservative approach to the issues. And uh, both, con uh, both the House and the Senate, I think, need to tend to lean to the right rather than the middle of the road. Lamar and Lamar seems to carry this forward. You know Jim well, and uh, no, I don't think I'll be sending any, my children or anybody in my family to Desjardins for uh, medical service. Uh, for uh, Senate, uh, I'm not a big Joe Carr fan, and uh, I think the sign down there in that window is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen because Lamar Alexander has done great things for this state. Uh, I don't think you go after him like that. And we've seen some things with yard signs as far as Joe Carr signs being right in front of Lamar yeah. signs. Intentionally I mean, intentionally put. placed in front. That, that's, you know, that's, that's petty. That is really petty. Uh, we just voted against DRLA. We yeah. just... Why that? Why, why vote against him? I think his, uh, well, the stance on abortion and the fact that it came out he had. That was my reasoning. I just don't think you can be as far right as he is and, you know, and then turns out you're... <laughs> <laughs> and do the very things you campaign against. I mean, yeah. that's... that's so. Right. I guess the only one I was really passionate about was voting for Lamar Alexander.